Hey, welcome. Uh, Brandon Novak, head wrestling coach at St. John's, coming at you again here, doing a little rundown of tomorrow's regional qualifier. Uh, our qualifier is set to give the top three guys uh, at each weight a bid to the national tournament. We, we like our chances uh, with all ten of our guys going into the tournament. So uh, what I wanted to do today was just give you a little rundown of, of our guys that will be in the lineup. I know we've got a link here that you can uh, go and check and see some highlight uh, footage of the guys so you kind of have an understanding of where we're coming from when I give some uh, descriptions of, of uh, these guys and their wrestling styles. But uh, we kind of uh, thought that we'd get everybody on the team would get a tattoo because, you know, tattoos used to be a, a representation of being a really tough guy. Um, but now even, like, Schiltz's wife has a tattoo, so I, I don't think we want to go with a tattoo. So what we decided to do is come up with some nicknames for our guys, uh, staying kind of along a theme of, of uh, animal base. So starting at 125 tomorrow, we'll have Brian the Praying Mantis uh, Waldron for us. Uh, Brian's a long, lanky guy, gets after pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, I think the toughest uh, praying mantis are the females after they get done ripping the male's head off, and uh, so he might have to turn into a female praying mantis tomorrow. But on to 133, we have Chad the Mongoose Henley. Kid's quick as quick can be. He'll be in on low singles and doubles all day long. Uh, should be seated second going into the tournament and uh, has a win over the number one seed from last year. So we look for great things out of Chad at 133. Uh, 141, uh, we're down to, to uh, our third string guy, which uh, we're still pretty excited about because Jay, Jay Wayward is our guy. Jay, the, the pit viper, Wayward. Uh, another equally quick guy with uh, with just a deadly shot, real venomous deadly shot. So uh, we're, we're looking to see how he does and performs kind of at this next level. He's been getting matches all season long for us uh, as our second string and third string guy. Uh, but now he's stepped into the limelight and getting after it. Um, moving on up the line to 149, we've got Ryan the Wolverine Arnie. Uh, Ryan's not afraid to mix it up with anybody. If you look through his record, he's wrestled um, national finalists um, in Orlando Ponce. He bumped up a weight class to see him at 157 from Augsburg. He, he went toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with Tony Valak, two-time national finalist um, uh, at 149 from Augsburg as well. So he's, he's bumped around to move and match guys. He's got a huge win over uh, 2010 national champion Isaac Duke this year. So he's not afraid to go mix it up with anybody, you know, and, and being one of those light guys, he always tells us not to forget just because he's a little lighter um, doesn't make him any less tough than anybody else. So moving on to 157, we got kind of a stretch here with uh, Chris the Like and Steve Emmer. Uh Chris is our, is our, uh, he's our, our, uh, um, our Like on our team, kind of taking a page for all you ladies that are going to watch this video, which I know is going to be like 500 or so. Um, He's kind of the Jacob on our team. He used to, uh, he had a repaired knee last year. He's slowly starting to break out of that, starting to get in that uh, that great Jacob form where it's, uh, he's just a built built machine and, and ready to get after it. And uh, we look for great things out of Chris. He should be the two seed as well going into the tournament. And um, moving on up now to one, 165. Again, kind of a stretch with this one, but uh, we're, we're going with the uh, the magician, Nick the Magician Schuler. Uh, he's one of those guys that can pull a thing out from everywhere on the mat. So uh, tough on his feet, great on the mat, um, doesn't ever get ridden, so he's always looking to score bonus points as well. I think he's got about eight, eight uh, uh, pins on the season and uh, always looking to push the pace there. Uh, moving up to our national qualifier from last year, an All-American, Matt the Orangutan Farr. Matt Farr has got these long, goofy, strong arms that are tough to wrestle. Uh, keep guys at bay when he wants to, and then when he needs to get after it, has some wicked head snaps and arm snaps with those strong arms. So, um, kind of another stretch we're going with with uh, Mitch Lionitis Hagen. Uh, we threw the lion in there to keep it close to the animal theme, but uh, he's our he's our guy from 300. Mitch, uh, I think, had a part in that movie. I don't know if he was a lead role or just a secondary actor in it, but uh, just chiseled, built. Um, and, and we'll be a two seed as well again in the region uh, qualifier. So finishing off the last two, we have Dustin the Polar Bear Baxter. Um, some of our, our guys seem to think that, that there's a lot of polar bears in Alaska, and other guys just think because he's pasty white and he's strong as strong can be that, uh, that he represents a polar bear real well. And then finally we have uh, John the Crocodile Saponiac. Uh, just nasty disposition about this kid. He just gets after it at heavyweight for us. Um, and we're looking for some great things out of these guys all, all the way through. So check us out. Check us out on our highlight that we put together. We're excited going into the season uh, uh, regional final here. And we think we're going to put another 7 to 10 guys in that national tournament. So come out on uh, and see us at Augsburg on Saturday. Starts at 9 o'clock. Semifinals we viewed, uh, could be viewed live on air uh, via their, their webcast on the Augsburg site. 
um, and check us out. Thanks.